thank you, everybody. And first, thanks for everybody, everybody for being here today. I went back and I read Ned Lamont's uh, first interview after he said he was going to run against the establishment. And someone asked him, why are you a Democrat? He said, I'm a Democrat because I believe power belongs with the people. Yeah. Yeah. That's the exact reason I'm running. But first to you, Ned. I got this email in. We were sending out emails to everybody. If we had found an email, we, we just wrote it down and sent it. And somehow we found the name of Ned Lamont, and we just added him to our database and sent out. And all of a sudden we got this email back. It said, Joe, I'd love to support you. Let's yeah. talk. I've had the experience of running against the establishment, and it's something to be done. Yes. We called, we spoke on the phone. He's a hero. Think about it. He's a hero because, number one, he honestly knew that that war in Iraq was a tragic misadventure. Yes. And he didn't accept that those who were in the establishment supported him. But he didn't just talk about it. He got into the arena and ran to fight for principle. Second, what did he bring to the arena? He brought a different perspective. It wasn't one that had 30 years down in Washington, D.C. It was one that had actually, on their own, individualism, but an acknowledgement of the common good from business that got in and brought, or should have brought, to Washington, D.C. a different perspective in order to advance the principles that we all believe in. In short, I'm on to them, to be endorsed by Ned Lamont, a man that does put principle over politics. And yeah. that Thank you. I'm running first and foremost for people. I went through the six, seven counties in this state, and two thirds of the way through, I stopped. And I came back to the staff and gathered them all around. I had met for the second time a man who I said, how's the recession going? He said to me, not too bad. It was already very bad before the recession began. <laughs> People are hurting. Yes. And through no fault of their own, who placed them in the savage recession? Wall Street. And then you sit there and you say, why has Washington, D.C. forgot that its focus is, should be on the engine of our economy, the middle class, the working family, rather than those who benefit off of our economy, yes, those that unduly enrich themselves. Yes. Up there with the derivative training where there was no referee on the football field on Wall Street. In short, I got in this race, having done those 67 county tours, where he said power belongs in the people. For too long, it has been absent yes. from the people. I strongly believe that principle does have to triumph over politics. People have to be in this for the courage of their conviction, not convenience. And that the jobs they should worry about are not their own in Washington, D.C. It's the jobs of those who have actually driven this country forward. I had three decades, marvelous decades, in the United States military. And if you can't be in the Navy, this is the next best job. <laughs> I love those things. And everything I learned was if you invested in your sailors, they took care of the mission. I tell everybody that every sailor is a Democrat. They just didn't realize it. <laughs> they all had health care. I lay to 11 and a half months of a war. My daughter, my adult wife were covered in health care. Health security. Then think about it. Education. You've heard Barack Obama talk about it. Four and a half million youth won't go to college by 2022 unless we change the affordability of it. We cannot invest enough in knowledge. In the U.S. Navy, when I commanded that carrier battle group, you could not be promoted to a CNG Petty Officer unless you'd earn an associate's college degree on your time, our money, in a technology because we wanted you educated. And then economic security, whether it's a pension, or whether it's the opportunity to come in and learn a trade and be all you can be. Sounds like a Democrat? Sounds like America.